I've always had a passion for being around and learning about animals. When I was younger, going to zoos and animal parks was always a part of my life. I wanted to share my passion with family and friends, so I started working with people that loved animals as much as I did, and my YouTube channel was born. Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Katie and Sue America. Hello. Hi. What do we have here? This is an Arizona mountain king snake who's trying to get warm in my sweatshirt. But he's still a pretty young snake. His name is Zorro. And he's, he's two years old and still fairly small. But he is not a venomous snake, but he is a mimic of venomous snake, which means he wants to look like a coral snake, but we know that he's not because he has white touching black instead of yellow touching red. So I don't know if you've heard the old rhyme. I believe it is, if yellow touches black, he's a friend of Jack. If yellow touches red, you're a dead fellow. I believe that might be. But, um, Something on those lines. Yeah. So there's a lot of rhymes trying to make you remember that this one is not dangerous and the coral snake, that's technically a cobra, could be very dangerous. But by him mimicking the coloration, that helps to keep him safer. I saw when you're first bringing them out, it is kind of a wider head to try to fool you a little bit more. Yes, if you look directly at him, he does have more of, please don't bite me, <laughs> more of a diamond head. The way he's flattening it, it looks a little more diamond shaped than our desert king snake because he is doing his best to mimic uh, a venomous snake. And he's doing a pretty good job of it. Yes, and you notice that this snake is a lot more wiggly and not quite as comfortable as that desert king snake was. And we have another Arizona mountain king snake that is also just He's much bigger, but also kind of jerky in his behaviors like this, which just, it's kind of their nature. They're not, they never really become tame. So that's one way that they are a little different. Will this snake be an education animal or will it go on display? Yes, he is an education animal and they will keep working with him to get him calmer. Um, the other one we have won't even allow me to do this. So if you can tell that it hasn't worked with, it just, he just needs a little more time. Really, with any animal, you just have to take time and effort into it, and then they'll eventually either at least tolerate you enough to get through a well program. Yes, and he's doing just fine. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to get him to sleep into a warm spot. Yeah. yeah, that's what they want to be at. Warm spot, lots of mice. Although he eats a very small mouse, he'll eat a pinky sized mouse right now. All of these snakes eat in the wild. In the wild, he could eat almost anything that is smaller than him because he is a king snake, so he could eat a small venomous snake if he wanted to, but um, he's going to be more apt to eat the smallest rodents, so the baby rodents throughout out of the nest, and maybe a newborn snake when he's about this size. What kind of predators would want to go after a king snake like this? Um, other king snakes, for one, so it's, they definitely will try to eat each other. But um, besides that, you could have a roadrunner potentially eat a king snake or any kind of hawk. Where are these king snakes usually found? You can find these in a similar location to the desert king snake. So Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, into Mexico, they have a pretty wide range. Anywhere arid and dry, they will be. What other adaptations do they have for surviving in that kind of environment? Well, just like our desert king snake, they are able to withstand the dry because they don't really lose much moisture through their scales. And they don't really need a lot of water. They get a lot of the moisture from the foods they eat. But once they find a water source, they will certainly take advantage and and take a long drink, especially through the desert during the monsoon season, everything's coming out to, to take a long drink to get ready for it. More dry. How long do these snakes usually get? Um, this snake will only get to be about 18 to 24 inches. 
So they are a very small snake in comparison to desert king snake that could be closer to six feet. How old is this snake? This snake is two years old. It is a little small for two, but he's still growing. So he might just be a, a smaller one out of the litter, like the runt. Well, thank you so much, Katie, for telling us about these mountain king snakes, right? Yes, Arizona mountain king snakes. And if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also, don't forget to check out my Instagram, at Kosher. As always, I'll see you next week.